so today, ah, uh, today well, this video was not what was planned. But today, I figured what we would do, because trash day is coming up, um, I would go through my trash and talk about a bunch of stuff I used up. I have a lot of home stuff because I was going to do one, a home, because I did an empties video that was mainly makeup and stuff, and I was going to do a home one separate and just never got around to it. So I have a lot of home stuff, you know, all-purpose cleaners, uh, hand soap. I also have hair care and I have some candles and a little bit of skincare. So it's kind of a bunch of random stuff, but I, I will say there are definitely some fall scents in here because I like to stock up in the fall and use them throughout the year. So there's some candles and some scents. So we're still going to get some fall action or some Halloween ish action going on in here. So yeah, anyways, let's get into it. Let's, I don't know what we're starting with. Should we start with home stuff? Let's do home. Okay. I have a whole lot of Mrs. Meyers clean day multi-surface everyday cleaner uh, and these bottles actually don't toss or you know recycle uh, I recycle them but I don't like put them in the recycling bin uh, a lot of these bottles what I will do is I'll hang on to them because I use these for homemade cleaners like a water vinegar mixture that I use on mirrors or windows also I've cleaned these out and filled them up with water and use them for my little baby plants my little seedlings to spray so I always find things to do with these bottles so I usually just try to save them so Mrs. Meyers clean day first of all has my favorite all-purpose spray I've ranted and raved about this stuff in my kitchen and my bathrooms just to wipe down the counter with uh, just to wipe everything with basically it's my favorite all-purpose spray and I used to be a ride-or-die method person and now I'm a Mrs. Meyers clean day person also I don't know where my orange clove ones oh I reused those bottles that's why they're not in here so I guess I could talk about that one as I'm talking about these because the orange clove scent is forever my favorite scent it's usually available around I want to say Thanksgiving time to me it smells like fall into Thanksgiving into winter it's like the perfect full-on all around amazing scent. But I did branch out and try a couple other scents. So this scent here is the pumpkin scent. And I got this one last year around fall time. And I don't think I love this one as much. Some people might be like, girl, who even are you? But to me, when it's like in the bottle, it smells like pumpkin. Like it smells really good. But then when I spray it on my countertop i feel like it smells like like not pumpkin like it smells like i don't know it just doesn't smell right like it just doesn't smell like pumpkin to me once i spray it on my counters so i i like this one because i just get excited to get something that's pumpkin because the basic witch inside of me gets all excited but it's not my favorite fall scent okay so then this one i think was new last year this is the acorn spice scent i always almost say flavor do i like this one it has more of that kind of it smells like the fall section of the craft store if that makes sense it's got that kind of cinnamon spice to it that kind of singes your nose hairs a little bit which i love but it's still not the orange clove um the orange clove is just a little bit more balanced i feel like and a little bit more subtle and the sweetness and the spice in it are just so good together um, but this one i think was also a fall release so it was released around the same time as the pumpkin one so if they have this one again this year i will definitely get it but i also also looking forward to seeing if they have any new scents this year in the fall right, so the one scent that i like from mrs meyers just as much as i like the orange clove is the lilac scent this one is like my ride or die spring into summer scent in my home this one has such a nice blend of floral and something else like lilac and something a little bit sweet that just cuts it a little bit so it doesn't smell like a grandma's perfume or something where it's just so strong that you just like it knocks you out and it's just this very nice balanced light scent to me but this scent is so good if you can find it it is so good um oh also i got some soaps Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Hand Soap. I have the Acorn Spice, the Lilac Scent, and a random Lavender Scent one. But I will say the Lavender Scent, oh, not my favorite. I love the smell of lavender, but I like it mixed with something. This is just straight lavender is what it smells like to me. It's very 
earthy or very florally very it's like there's nothing else to it it's just very flat and I love their hand soaps let me say really quick that I love their hand soaps because I for whatever reason am an allergic human being like I just don't know why I am this way <laughs> I was getting a really bad allergic reaction around my ring um, that I found out. First of all, a lot of people said it's because you're not wiping your hands off enough. There's moisture trapped under there. And some people said it was the soap that wasn't getting washed out from under there. Well, I put two and two together and I realized it was like very, first of all, very red, raw, irritated, kind of cracking, um, just not a good situation. So I thought I would do a little experiment. I'm only saying this because I feel like maybe if you're out there and you're going through this and you're like, I don't know why my ring, like where my ring is, it's all irritated. Um, so I was using Bath and Body Works hand soaps and I switched to Method and I've also used the Mrs. Myers and I don't get that irritation, but I still get it. If I even think about touching a Bath and Body Works soap, like when I have to go to a friend's house or family member's house and they have Bath and Body Works soap, I cringe a little bit because I know I'm gonna get some sort of reaction to it. So if you are experiencing that and nothing has worked, try switching your soaps and you maybe still be able to do a scented soap, just something like Method or like Mrs. Myers, something like I don't know if they call them natural or whatever you call it, but um, yeah, just a tip out there because I'm sure I'm not the only one that's gone through that, but these definitely help. Uh, okay, so we got the acorn spice scent and the lilac scent. I went through those already. They are my favorite soaps of all time and I am almost out and literally Target is out of everything. All right, I got a couple more cleaners. What do I got? All right, this one is the Method Foaming Bathroom Cleaner. It says it removes soap scum, cleans mold and mildew stains. Um, so it's kind of like you spray it and it foams and then you kind of wipe it away. I thought this was a little messy for my taste. It just, the foam didn't really spread around. It kind of just shot out and it wasn't really the best thing to wipe off. It was just kind of like when you go to wipe it off, it's just like a lot of product, a lot of foam. And I don't know if I even liked the scent. No, I do like their eucalyptus mint scent, but I like their other shower cleaner, their daily shower cleaner, just for an everyday thing in the eucalyptus mint. I love that scent and I love that product, but this one, I just think there are other better, like, sh like for my shower, sometimes I feel like it needs more. It needs a little extra something. And this doesn't always, like a lot of the natural products, in my opinion, just take forever to get it clean. What else do I got? Oh, this Method Glass and Surface Cleaner. And I had this one forever. This was sitting under the sink in my guest bathroom for a long time because it took me forever to get through it because I've been using water and vinegar in all of my other bathrooms. So this is the last glass cleaner that I have. This glass cleaner I think is okay. Uh, it can, okay, in comparison to water and vinegar, let me just tell you, this one is not even, it doesn't even compare to water and vinegar, which is the best mirror cleaner I've ever used ever. And it's super cheap. Uh, this just, it did leave streaks pretty easily and it just wasn't my favorite glass cleaner. So I have some laundry detergent. This is, oh wait, one's a fabric softener, just kidding, and one's a laundry detergent. So this is the Method laundry detergent and the Method fabric softener and they are both in the ginger mango scent and i love this scent this stuff if you've never used it before the laundry detergent a little bit goes a long way and it takes forever to get through this whole big bottle but so it lasts forever i love the method laundry detergent fabric softener and especially this is what changed the game for me these um fragrance br fragrance brewsters fragrance boosters changed the game for me. First of all, we moved from a really, really, really old house and had a very musky scent and all everything, anything that was in that house just smelled like the house. And it was really, really hard to get that scent out of the furniture, out of our clothes. So these fragrance boosters got the smell out of like from our old house and it just, everything smells so good. Okay, also have this one. There's a little bit left in this one too. This is the fresh air scent and and i think i got this one because the mango what is it called ginger mango was sold out so i gave this one a shot and i do like this i'm just kind of tired of this scent 
I don't know, it kind of smells like a lot of the other laundry detergent brands. Just smells very clean, like linen smell. Um, I think I'm just overall tired of this scent. Does that ever happen to you? Where you just have to mix it up because you're just can't you can't do it anymore that's kind of how i feel about this one also have this method laundry detergent this is the free and clear one and it comes in the pump which i love these pumps i don't know why they quit selling all of them in the pumps i keep the free and clear for my dogs uh for their blankies well means especially sitting next to me right now has allergies and so i wash her blankies with the free and clear and it actually made a huge difference with her allergies. All right, moving on to candles. We'll stay in the home section for now and then we'll move on to hair care here in a second. Um, I have three different candles. Uh, they're all three fall candles, which is making me feel so good. And I can't wait to smell these right now because it's just what I need. This one is the White Barn brand from Bath and Body Works and it is called Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And if you've watched my Halloween decor hauls before, this scent is forever my favorite scent, although there's a new one in town. But this one, it's got the perfect amount of pumpkin and the perfect amount of spice. It's kind of what I wish that pumpkin, Mrs. Meyers pumpkin spray would smell like. And it says sweet cinnamon pumpkin, which I think scares a lot of people off. But I think of all the pumpkin scents they have at Bath and Body Works, this one is one of the least sweet. This one has an added spice. It is so good. This is one of my favorite ones to get every single year. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And it's sending my nose hairs to a place that I want to be living right now. So when I said there was another guy in town, what I meant was this. This is the Bath and Body Works pumpkin clove scented candle, the three wick candle. Oh. I was thinking the pumpkin clove had a spicier scent than the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And based on the names, right, if I were to say sweet cinnamon pumpkin or pumpkin clove, which one is sweeter? You'd probably say sweet cinnamon pumpkin, hands down, is going to smell sweeter than pumpkin clove. I think sweet cinnamon pumpkin is still spicier. It just has that extra zing that I want in a candle. And this one, the pumpkin clove. It's a little bit more of a rounder scent. Like it has a little bit more of like a warmth, like a vanilla, I think. This one, yep, has more of a vanilla scent to it. And where the sweet cinnamon pumpkin has the cinnamon that really just gives you that punch. This one, sweet cinnamon pumpkin, is forever my favorite. All right, let's move on to hair care. I think I mentioned this in my last empties video. This is the Pureology Perfect for Platinum Shampoo look at the lid on that this is this is the best representation of my life um not embarrassing at all nope okay anyway this shampoo is my favorite shampoo that's ever existed this line i believe was repackaged if you're looking for it i will put it down in the description box for you because i believe they just renamed it and repackaged it uh, for a second there, I thought their Perfect for Platinum line was completely discontinued as in like never coming back, not being repackaged, never happening again. And they were just going to stick with their Hydrate line. But I've tried their Hydrate line and I've tried their Perfect for Platinum, which is called something else now. But I think they changed it to where it's not even like blonde related. Maybe they didn't. But I feel like they did to where it's just like heavy repair or something like that. But this shampoo is my favorite shampoo and conditioner. The whole line is my favorite. And in combination with number three Olaplex, saved my hair. That is how my hair was able to get as long as it is. Okay, before it wouldn't grow past here, like my shoulder, it would just break off at my shoulder because it was just in such bad shape. And back here in the back of my head, I had like a piece this, this short, like just a whole amount of breakage. And as soon as I switched to the shampoo and conditioner and with the Olaplex, it saved my hair. Uh, but regardless, I'm telling you, this shampoo and conditioner, my favorite ever. Right now I'm using the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. And I'm not gonna lie, I was really, really, really excited to try it because I've ranted and raved about their number three. It's a bond builder and you use it once a week. They've been ranting and raving about that product for years. And so I thought for sure I would love the shampoo and conditioner and it just does not stand up to this Pureology line. All right, next up I have a body wash. I have this Hemp's Fresh Coconut and Watermelon Body Wash. It's a little warped. It looks like it's been through it, but um, it smells so good. Oh, it's like fresh and very summery. I need to go get myself some. It smells like fresh coconut and watermelon. Like, so it doesn't smell like artificial 
watermelon. Like it doesn't smell like watermelon Sour Patch Kids, even though you know I love those. And it doesn't have the artificial coconut scent. That's very like banana boat. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I gotta get another one of these. So Hemp's Fresh Coconut and Watermelon Body Wash. It's so good. Okay, I guess that wasn't hair care. My bad. But I mean, I guess what we're doing is like what we do in the shower. Okay, that's like <laughs> shower time products. Okay, so the next up I have this. I've had this for so long. Uh, they sent this for me to try and I feel so bad because I don't wash my hair very often. So like once a week, maybe. Uh, my hair is very bleached. So if I wash my hair every day, it will definitely dry it out. It doesn't look very healthy and just a little crispy. Anyways, I tried this brand. They sent me this line. It is Joico Blonde Life. Blonde Life? line and i actually still have the shampoo there's like a little tiny bit left so this is a brightening a blonde brightening line so it's a shampoo conditioner and a brightening mask i really love this line this was kind of one of those things where i switched it up so i was switching it up between my pureology and then i would take a little bit of time off and use this and honestly i didn't notice a huge difference between like when i was using the joyco and when i was using the pureology it wasn't this huge difference. I would say the Pureology to me is definitely more concentrated. You only need a teeny tiny amount. I really, really, really liked the scent of this line. It was very, very like citrusy. It was, yeah, I don't know how to describe it, but it smells so good. So I prefer the scent of the Joyco to the Pureology if we're being honest. The Joico one, like all day long after I washed my hair, I just wanted to sit around and smell my hair. I love any sort of shampoo or conditioner that does that. I would definitely repurchase this, but I just don't think that this line specifically was made for my type of hair. I feel like this brightening shampoo and conditioner and mask would be really great for honey blondes. Um, but I have seen since they released this that they came out with a purple line for people who have more platinum hair. So I'm actually, next time I'm at the beauty supply store, I might actually go get me some of the purple version of this, see if it's good on platinum hair and kind of brightens it up because I really didn't notice a lot of brightening with this line uh, as much as it was just a really good shampoo and conditioner, very moisturizing, smelled amazing, was just overall like a really great hydrating shampoo and conditioner, but I just didn't see the brightening effect. I also really like the mask. Thought this mask was really comparable to the Pureology, uh, perfect for platinum, uh, the, that heavy mask that they have, uh, or they had, because it's discontinued. Um, but this one was a little bit lighter, not quite as heavy. Uh, and, oh, this smells so good. <sighs> Just smells so good. So, we loved it. We liked it. Joyco, Blonde Life, it was good. All right, so next up I have two different, what are these? Like, uh, what do you call them? Tangle... Well, all right, leave-in conditioners. That's what they are, kind of like detanglers. So the first one is, once again, from a discontinued line, but if I can find what they replace this with, I will link it in the description. This is the Pureology Perfect for Platinum Miracle Filler Treatment. And I don't know if this is a miracle filler treatment, as much as it's just a really bomb detangler. This thing is the best detangler I've ever used in my whole life. I swear by it, I need to go find more of this somewhere in whatever new line and repurchase it immediately because I've tried some other detanglers and leave-in conditioners and they just don't do what this does. And this is basically the only leave-in conditioning treatment that didn't clog the, the thing, the sprayer. Still a really good detangler, even if you don't have blonde hair, it's totally fine, but it's just hardcore detangler, so good. Okay, all right, so the other detangler I tried was this one. It's called Fab Me or Design Me, Fab, Fab Me, Fab Me. It's in this green bottle. It's got a hair on it. That's my life. A light multi-benefit detangling mist. And it did a good job detangling. I'm not gonna lie, but I have a couple things I gotta say about it. Number one, it got clogged. Like it won't even spray. Like I think there's still a little bit down in there and it literally won't even spray because it's clogged. So I had to start dumping it in my hand and putting it in my hair. And at that point, I'm just like, what am I doing? I have never, in the 5,000 of these Pureology ones that I've used in the past, never once has one of these clogged on me. And I've had basically every other detangler I've ever tried clog up on me. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong or if they're just allowed to get me or what. But anyways, this one's Fab Me. 
And okay, first, the first time I smelled this, let me just tell you, I thought I was smelling my great grandmother. I'm not joking, my great grandmother, whatever the smell is, basically crawled into a vat of this scent and wore it. It is definitely that grandma perfume smell in my mind. For some people, you're not gonna smell that at all, but that smells like my great grandma. And it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. And at first, I couldn't get with it. It was just too much. I was just like, no, I can't do this. It smells like my grandma. And it's very, 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 very strong. Like the scent, even after you blow dry and you wear it for a few days, it's still going strong. You're still straight up smelling like a grandma. So I looked up online, I even Googled this brand. and was like the scent, like <laughs> Googled the scent to see if anyone else found it really offensive. And literally not, I don't think one person said anything. And let me tell you this though, after I washed it out of my hair and like used a whole different product, didn't return back to this, I kept it under my sink, like I'll just keep it there for when I'm desperate. And I missed smelling this, which is so weird. I don't know if that ever happens to you where at first you don't really like a scent and then you get used to it and you love it and you wanna return back to it and you're like, I need that scent. So now my brain is playing all these tricks on me and I don't even know if I like it or I hate it or if it's my grandma or my great grandma, like I don't even know what's happening. But now I wanna repurchase it. Okay, so next up I have some conditioners. All right, so I have this Amica, or maybe it's Amica, or I don't know. But they, once again, this brand sent me this a long time ago, and it takes me, I feel so bad when it comes to hair brands, because it takes me so long to get through the product, and I really don't know how I feel about products until I really use them. So I can give an honest review on whether or not I would repurchase something. This is the Amica, or Mika, Keep Your Color Conditioner. So I thought this was a great conditioner as far as that goes. I didn't notice any color fading. I thought it just kind of did its job. It was a good conditioner, just like an everyday type of conditioner, especially if you have uh, colored hair. For me personally, I like a line that is heavy on the moisture. So while the conditioner did a really good job as far as conditioners go, I, I do think that I would have to supplement this with some sort of mask or something that's a little bit more intense, some sort of intense hydration, which they had actually sent me their mask that I have in my shower right now and I really, really, really love their mask. It's like um, a deep conditioning mask and it is amazing. I'll link it in the description if you wanna check it out because it is so good. It's very, very moisturizing, not too heavy, smells amazing and is just really all around one of my favorite deep conditioners right now. Uh, but this line is one of those lines once again that made me, like I was unsure about the scent at first it's very strong, very, it's got a certain perfume to it. I actually ended up loving the scent once again, once I washed my hair with it and kept smelling it and then I washed my hair and didn't use it again. I was missing that smell. It just smells so good. But I feel like you're either gonna love this scent or you're not gonna love it. But for me, at first I was unsure about it and then I just started wanting to smell it all the time. It just smells, it's like so addictive. It's such a good scent. Oh, it's so good. So while I won't be repurchasing the color treated stuff, I will definitely be repurchasing other items in the Amica line. I love it. Also next up for hair care is another deep conditioner. This is the Pureology Strength Cure Restorative Mask. And this one, I do not like the smell. And it's not one that I ever got used to and it's just, I can't get with it. It's just very chemical, like it smells like cough syrup or something. Like I'm just, I can't get with it. I can't get with it. Maybe I'm just weird about scents. But I also just didn't think this was their best deep conditioner, if I have to be 100% honest with Pureology, which you know, I'm, I just said, I'm a huge Pureology fan, but this, this was not it. This was not it. To me, this was like a very light deep conditioner, like very, like almost like oily. Not gonna be repurchasing that, wasn't my favorite. It took me forever to get through that because I could not do it. Moving on to skincare, we're almost done. The first is this Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser is what it is. And this, I got this in a boxy charm, which this is a full size cleanser. And this lasted me a long time. So this was an awesome boxy charm to get. I actually really did like this. It didn't dry out my already super dry skin. It didn't break out my super sensitive skin. I would definitely use it again and consider buying it, but I have two other cleansers that I like better than this one. So I'd probably buy one of those two before I would reach for this one, but I don't think this was a bad one. I think this was really, really gentle 
on dry sensitive skin i would definitely consider it again um maybe if i want to mix it up and things like that because i did really like this and like how it bubbled and so i liked it a lot all right next up is another cleanser i got this i think it was in an advent calendar for dermalogica and it is the special cleansing gel is what it is and that is dirty and this dermalogica special cleansing gel is my favorite just all around cleanser right now i have a bigger bottle in my bathroom right now and i've mentioned this before but i really love this it's a very simple cleanser it's kind of just a back to basics cleanser in my opinion it's not overly drying it's not super moisturizing it doesn't do too much but it doesn't do too little it's kind of that really perfect all around cleanser in my opinion that's just good it is good like I, I feel good using it I feel like my face is clean I feel but not dry like I just feel like it's everything and it doesn't break me out it does it's not overly scented it's just a very basic face wash that does the job and is not overly harsh uh, so I love this special cleansing gel I'm actually gonna keep this but I will definitely be repurchasing the special cleansing gel again and again and again and next up for skincare ish kind of stuff uh okay so ColourPop actually sent this over to me this is the fourth ray beauty face milk and it looks like this and it's basically just a little dropper and it has this milky looking product in it so you suck it up and then you then you put it on your face and it's a kind of a moisturizer, pre-makeup, like kind of primer. I don't know. I've been using it as primer. Each one, each color or flavor or scent has a different thing it does, like moisturizing and rejuvenating and I don't know what all of them do. But what I do know is that I love these things. My favorite so far has been the watermelon. I feel like the scent, it's like a real watermelon scent. Kind of reminds me of that body wash I was talking about earlier, the Hemp's one. Oh, it's got like this really nice watermelon scent. So this kind of goes on before my foundation, like right before I put it on. So it just adds a little extra something, a little extra moisture, but not oil or not too much. It's just like this really perfect, like youthful, like nice moisture. I don't know. It's good. I love it. I'm going to be repurchasing these for sure. Or like probably either the watermelon or the coconut one. All right. I only have two things left. First thing, I have this Sephora Dry Clean Only Instant Dry Brush Cleaner Spray. This stuff, I think I mentioned it in my last empties video, is my favorite brush cleaner, like everyday brush cleaner. And basically, it's just like a dry oil spray. And you take your brush and you spray it with it. And then you put it on a towel, just kind of like clean your brush off. And it's magic, it just disappears. Whatever was on your brush just completely disappears and you don't have to wait for it to dry again before you dip it into your whatever eyeshadow you're using. So this is the only brush spray that I will use. Once again, this is another one where I buy multiple at a time to have a backup just in case it's sold out. Last but not least, my favorite thing of life, Use this all up. This is probably the only liquid lipstick I've ever used all the way through before it expired. Oh no, I lied. Uh, what's the other one? Anastasia Beverly Hills, you know which one it is. Grim, that one. Okay, this is the Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick, which is their Velveteen line, in the shade Black Velvet. And it looks like this. And it is just a matte black liquid lipstick. This is my favorite black liquid lipstick of all of the formulas I've tried. It is very thin, weightless, just feels so good. On, well, it doesn't feel good on the lips, that's a lie. All liquid lipsticks kind of have that drying feeling, I'm not gonna lie. But this one is definitely a little bit more watery and thinner uh, in comparison to a lot of other brands I've tried that are a little bit thicker. Uh, of a product, but this is like completely opaque with as thin as it is, which is just wild to me because it feels really thin and weightless on the lips. Honestly, Lime Crime is probably my top favorite formula of all the liquid lipsticks I've tried. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be repurchasing this. Anyways, that is it for this empties video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.